Let me ask you a rather silly question. What is your favorite geometrical shape? Maybe some of you thought of this, a shape with three sides, same as the Doritos, the supporting links of the bridges, pizza slice, pyramids, pyramids are not triangle exactly, or even the symbol of Illuminati. Okay, no conspiracies here. There are a lot of geometrical shapes out there, a circle, square, pentagon, etc. But if you were to ask the same question to nature, the mother nature, you'll get the answer as hexagon. Although it's not the complete answer, but hang on. The first thing that might have popped into your head when I said hexagon might be a beehive. But where do we see hexagons other than that? The snowflakes, hexagons on the turtle shell, compound eyes of insects, bubble raft, the hexagonal carbon chains inside our body, nuts and bolts, and last but not the least, the pencils. So why the nature craves the hexagons so much? It turns out it has something to do with the packing efficiency. So basically mathematics. Take a look at this. These are circles or cells arranged in rows and columns. Now, even with the best packaging, you can see the empty space. So, if you want to pack together cells that are identical in shape and size so that they fill all of a flat plane, the only options are a triangle, a square or a hexagon. Now, let's say we have to fill a flat area of 100 cm square, but with the least perimeter. So, when we do the math, among triangles, squares and hexagon, the hexagon has the least perimeter for 100 cm squares or any given area. Thus, these cells will choose hexagon instead of any other shape. Now, the same theory is applicable in the case of the beehives as well as the bubble raft. Beehives have round cells in the beginning, but over time, the surface tension of the wax, which is the force that wants to minimize the perimeter, causes the round cells to turn into hexagon cells. The same goes for the bubble raft. The surface tension of water gives the hexagon shape when n number of bubbles come together. Another reason for the hexagonal craving is that when the angle between the links is 120 degrees, it gives the most mechanically stable structure. And what about the compound eyes of the insects? Apply the same logic. It allows the maximum area to sense the light with the minimum perimeter and thus less material requirements. Turtle shell, again, the maximum coverage of the surface with the minimum material. In the case of pencils and nuts and bolts, it uses the logic that more grip and stability is achieved with the hexagonal shape. Even the manufacturers can pack maximum pencils per volume because of the hexagonal shape. Then for nuts and bolts, it gives a better grip for the wrench and hence more torque can be transferred to the bolt. Well, I guess it's pretty much clear for you to understand why nature and sometimes even humans favor hexagon more than any other shape. That's it for this one. See you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned.